73,000 people in the UK die from coronary heart disease. That is one person every seven minutes. In this programme we take a look at the fundraising efforts of the UK's biggest heart charity and where our donated money ends up. This is a fight for every heartbeat. This is the British Heart Foundation. I am Joy Conway. And I volunteer for the British Heart Foundation. My name's Gary and I used to be a television engineer so I'm ex-technical. My name is Rusty Tyler and I work on the till on the shop floor. Despite working hard, the volunteers at the British Heart Foundation still find time to indulge in some witty banter. So what's the strangest thing you've ever found in a donation bag? I don't, I don't know really. However, Witty Banter does not provide donations to the store, therefore action must be taken. The volunteers have taken to the streets to raise awareness and gather donations. Do you just mind uh, telling me what, what you're doing today? Yes, uh, we are today collecting or asking people to donate their own items. And it's for a special um, collection that we have in September, which is called Bag and Beat It. And this is our little hero. You might have seen that they have this campaign on telly, on their Facebook and everything. Um, so it's especially for children with heart disease. And we, all we ask for is people to come and donate and want to die. One of the main questions surrounding Britain's largest heart charity is what happens to donations once they're in the store? When a donation first comes into the store, they hand us the donation. The figures on how many bags have been donated are put down in the gift aid sheet and the donor's ID is stuck on the bags. The donations are taken upstairs to be sorted. If the donations are too low quality they will be ragged and donations that are going to be sold will be steamed, coded, priced and dated before they are taken to the shop floor. So why do you volunteer here? When I more or less retired some years ago um, I was looking for something to do and um, the volunteer centre sort of directed me to here. Um, I've always wanted, I've always worked in charity shops since I left work. Um, the one I originally was in closed down, but I wanted to work in this one because I lost my husband through heart problem. I volunteer because of the people I mix with. A wonderful, wonderful lot of people. What is the most popular area in the shop? Ladies' clothes and. DVDs at the moment. Well, I should obviously say the book department, um, but I can't. I think I think the clothing department is the most interesting. No idea. I don't know. I don't bother with the shop at all. I, I I'm, I'm a tr strictly a backroom boy. After the break, tensions rise between Joy and Rusty's clash in the book department rise to a physical level. I find out who Gary's been hiding in the back room. 